some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Mark Dickerson, a.k.a. James Madison Audits, and his history with the police department and apparently uh, other domestic uh, issues, especially involving his wife and family. Yeah, he's that kind of guy. Now, on a side note, uh, much of this information was already released by a uh, frauditor troll and others, but for some reason, the frauditor doesn't want the truth to get out about his uh, rather turbulent past, and so he sent a copyright strike uh, to a frauditor troll, and, uh, well, unfortunately, frauditor, there is no putting the genie back in the bottle once it's been released. So, yeah, dude, uh, we know all about you. We know that you're not exactly a good person to begin with, and... Uh, well, you're a criminal scumbag like all the other frauditors out there, so don't pretend that you're a good man. Now, I'm just going to go over some of the highlights of this uh, man's police career and, uh, well, go over some of the highlights of his uh, encounters with police officers as a frauditor. And then go over the more recent issues with his... Uh, domestic disturbance uh, problems at home. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So, okay, there's no better place to start than that, the beginning of the uh, records that I have received on this particular frauditor. Uh, and this is regarding his uh, police career back in the early 2000s. Now, early on, he only had a couple of uh, tardies, according to these uh, reports, but uh, even these kinds of things can go down in your record and hold you back from promotions or transfers or anything like that. And apparently that's uh, what happened in one particular scenario. Now, apparently... Uh, these t early tardies ended up uh, leading to an incident where he uh, was apparently passed up for another job within the uh, police department. Uh, and he decided that he wanted to air his grievances in a uh, rather disrespectful manner. And, and for prosperity's sake, the issue was documented, so let's go ahead and dive right into this uh, issue. Now, at this point, you can go ahead and pause and read the document for yourself. And, uh, well, it basically states that uh, the officer frauder here was uh, upset that he had been passed over for that transfer or promotion or whatever the hell it was, and uh, well expressed publicly his disdain for it at a class that he was teaching to the public. Uh, well, dude, uh, that's not exactly how to air out your grievances. That's the kind of thing you do in private with your uh, superiors to figure out what you need to do to improve yourself. So even then, this frauditor was proving to be a complete obnoxious moron, just as he is today. And so he was written up for this, and he did violate several of the uh, police department's policies on this. Okay, yeah, so I'm sure this frauditor doesn't care about policies because he violated his own police department's policies. But wait, there is a lot more. Uh, so let's go ahead and skip to a, another issue. August 30th, 2002, uh, failing to report to uh, firearms training. October 2003, failing to remove a uh, shotgun from his patrol vehicle and returning it to its uh, proper storage uh, facility. April of 2004, uh, mishandling of evidence where he took a knife that was involved in a uh, domestic issue and uh, left it in his personal vehicle in which there was a juvenile involved. And then two years later, he decided that he wanted to resign from the police department. I think they were about to fire him anyway. I mean, there's a whole list of other things that there are other tardies, other incidents. I mean, this guy was not exactly the best police officer out there. Let's go ahead and skip to the, uh, well, most recent issue with the domestic disturbance involving his wife, because that also speaks volumes. Now, I do have a uh, rather massive PDF file with regards to his uh, encounters with police officers over the years, but, you know, we all know how frauders can be, but let's just go ahead and skip to the uh, end game here, because I'll be here all day reading out those files. 
Now I'll leave the files on the screen for so you guys can uh, read them. But I will just go ahead and summarize the uh, this particular incident right here. Well, apparently uh, Mark's wife ended up discovering that, uh, well, he had been cheating on her. Well, what a surprise. A frauditor uh, not exactly being honest with anybody around them. I mean, what else is new? But apparently she had discovered, uh, well, lewd photos and everything like that on uh, the frauditor's cell phone. And, uh, well, things uh, escalated from there. I, he ended up uh, threatening to self-delete himself and everything like that. And this is after he ended up battering her. And he also decided that he was going to clear out the bank accounts and destroy the house. And, uh, well, just be an all-around abusive jackass. So basically what we've got here is a frauditor who tried to be a police officer for a few years and completely failed at it. And, uh, well... Ended up trying his hand at frauditing and uh, has a very lengthy case history as far as his encounters with police officers go. And he has a history of, well, domestic abuse, apparently. So basically what we have here is a failure in life frauditor who, uh, well, just can't get along with anybody outside of his own circle of frauditing friends who are nothing but a bunch of criminal scumbags themselves. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?